Hey there coaches, Carolyn here and welcome back. We're still in the Bahamas and this is part two of our happiness series. Today I want to give you the remaining key ingredients to building true happiness in business and life. Make sure you stay all the way until the end of the episode because we will also talk about why many people look for happiness in all the wrong places and I'll give you some insights from my own experience in chasing happiness and feeling happy and my hope is that this will inspire you to look at your own life and your happiness in a whole new way. Before we get started, make sure you hit the bell icon so you get notified when new episodes drop every Wednesday. All about helping you go from passion to profit in your coaching business. Key ingredient number five is to build an amazing, vivid vision of your future. Without this vivid vision, you're really just spinning in life and you never know when you actually hit your goals because you don't have any in the first place. So do yourself a favor, create a plan, dream a little bit, allow yourself to think outside the box and create an amazing future plan for yourself. Key ingredient number six is to be mission driven. When you're looking at people who are really successful, many of them are also really happy. But I would make the argument that most people who are successful and happy are not just happy because they have money and things and accomplishments, they are happy because they are mission driven and they're getting up every single day not to make more money for their bank account but to actually make the world a better place. They're out there to create more freedom, to create a safer environment, to educate people, to free people, to do whatever they believe in, but to them it's not work. And they're getting more done than most other people out there because they look at their work as a mission that calls them, that pulls them out of bed every single day and that gets them excited about the work they're doing. Key ingredient number seven is to always live in the present. Too many people forget about living in the present and that gets them back to either chasing the future or living in the past. All you really have is the now, it's the present moment. So make it your responsibility and remind yourself of enjoying the present moment as much as you can. Key ingredient number eight is to have faith. I was brought up in a home that believed in hard work. My parents told me, make sure you get a good education, make sure you start a great career, make money, save that money hard for retirement, and eventually have a good retirement and then leave the earth and, and it sounds sort of depressing when you look at it that way but I know many people who live this way and the hardest part about that is that there is so much pressure on you. When you work in your life and you build a business and you believe that every single step is all on you, there's a lot of pressure on you and it leads you to overworking, overstressing. I believe there are so many people in this world nowadays who feel unbalanced who feel stressed out and who burn out because they carry a big burden on their back because they believe that success depends on them and nothing else. When I realized that there was more to life, there is a bigger power and I don't care what you believe in, if it's God or Buddha or the universe or your guides or whatever that is for you, there is a bigger power out there that is on your side and when you understand that, you can let yourself off the hook once in a while. You can say, I don't always have to have a plan. I don't have to have it all figured out because I will have things appear to me. I will have new ideas. I can let spirit guide me and the universe has my back and it is on my side and all I have to do is move forward joyfully, happily, with intention and make the best of it. When I realized that, a lot of things changed for me and since then I have had greater successes and I have not only been more successful but more happier than ever before. So do yourself a favor and really look at your life with faith and build that into your daily practice and into your belief system as well. And now I want to hear from you. What can you do right now to create more happiness in your life? What resonated most with you in this episode? Let's have a conversation and down below in the comments, let me know what you are doing right now to live your happiest life. And if building a true lifestyle business is on your vision board, maybe it's time for us to talk. I want to invite you to book in a coaching session with my coaching team to talk about where you are right now, where you want to go and how we can help you make your dreams a reality. 
go to carolinsolo.com slash book now to book in a consultation and let's see what's possible for you. And if you liked this episode, make sure you give me a like below, leave me a comment, share it with your friends, and I can't wait to see you again. Thanks so much for watching and take care. Do you want to build a successful online coaching business, but you're not sure how to get started and you're scared of wasting time and money on the wrong steps? Let me be your coach and show you the right steps to quickly launch your business, attract the perfect clients and multiply your income. To learn more, go to coachingbusinesstraining.com.